Welcome to Breakfast at Nine. My name's Cherry and I'm one of the members of the Breakfast at Nine team. It's good to have you with us. Please connect with us. If you want to let us know who you are and where you are, it would be good to be able to say hello to you as well. We have a Facebook page and a WhatsApp group. So, so make yourself known and we'll wave or get back to you as soon as we can. We're looking at the gifts of the Spirit at the moment and so far we've learnt about love, joy and peace. And each week there's been a fruit and the fruit has come with a recipe. Have you tried out the stewed apple or the chocolate chip cherry pancakes or even Nick's pineapple smoothie from last week? I wonder what it's going to be this week. Well, as we start our worship today, it's always good to come into God's presence, having our slate wiped clean. I've had some days this week where things haven't gone so well, and maybe I've actually been a little bit impatient at times, and I wonder how your week's gone. We're going to start this morning by saying the confession and letting God have all those things that we don't want to cling on to that make us not very good people and allowing him to give us the peace through his forgiveness. So let's say these words together. For all the times we make you feel sad, we want to say sorry, God. For all the times when we lie and cheat, we want to say sorry, God. For all the times when we are angry and grumpy, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we are rude or naughty, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we deliberately disobey you, we want to say sorry, God. For the times when we are selfish or unkind, we want to say sorry, God. For all the wrong things we do, we want to say sorry, God. Amen. And Lord Jesus, as we start our worship this morning, will you take away those things and thank you that you forgive us and you fill us with your Holy Spirit, with the love, joy, peace. May we receive that this morning. Amen. So we're going to see Sarah in a little while, who's going to tell us the story. And Laura is going to talk to us about the Bible verses that we hear and the stories that we hear. But first of all, she's going to tell us what we can do with strawberries. Okay, welcome to our next Breakfast at Nine Fruits of the Spirit cooking segment. Hooray! Okay, so today the fruit is strawberries. Love strawberries. And I'm going to attempt to make strawberry muffins. Let's go. So we have all our ingredients here. We have strawberries, butter, milk, egg, flour and sugar. This is how I'm going to make it. I'm sure there's many ways to make a strawberry muffin, but let's get started. So I've put the flour and the sugar in the bowl. I've given it a quick mix and now we move on to the egg. So I put the eggs in, I put the milk in, I melted the butter, put that in, chopped up eight strawberries, put them in, mixed it all together, I was meant to put vanilla essence in it, forgot to buy it at the shops. So if you have that, whack that in as well. And yeah, they're in the oven now. Let's have a look. There you go, put them in at 180 degrees and let's see what happens. Hopefully they're good. Did you know that we're cheating a little bit here because a strawberry isn't actually a fruit? I know. The bits on the outside of the strawberry that look like seeds are actually fruits themselves and they have seeds inside them. Amazing. So we're talking about patience today. You really have to be patient waiting for things to bake, don't you? <laughs> 
So the muffins are cooked and let me tell you, they smell amazing. I'm so proud of myself. So I'm gonna taste one now. Why don't you have a go at making these too? Let us know on the WhatsApp group how yours go. Yummy. Yum. <laughs> Yay. talking about patience that is what's the theme today patience all right <laughs> so yes today we are talking about patience that is our next fruit of the spirit and i don't know about you but sometimes i find it really hard to be patient 
I found my patience was definitely tested in lockdown, especially with things like homeschooling. But overall, I think we as people, we want everything fast and we want everything now. Fast food. We don't want to wait. We want it now. We want information quickly. So fast internet. Gone are the days of dial up. And waiting three days for a parcel to arrive. No, thank you. Next day delivery. I want it now. I find that my laptop is quite old and when it goes really slow, I really find myself losing my patience. How about you? What things for you make you lose your patience? Lots of things in life require patience. Good things come to those who wait, right? It can be hard sometimes to wait for the school day or the work day to end or to wait for Friday and the weekend, especially if you've got exciting plans. But the Bible says that we need to have patience. There are many things in life that take time and we need to be learning to be less impatient because in all our busyness, we might miss what God is showing us or telling us each day if we're just go, 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 and we're really impatient. Each day we will face situations that test our patience. These can be small things like someone being slow when you're in a rush, or it could be really big things like moving house and waiting for completion day. Or really hard things like waiting for treatment that you need. But as we learn to be patient with the small things, God will prepare us to go through the bigger things. Sometimes the wait can feel unfair, but we need to remember that God is with us through it all. And when we struggle to be patient with another person, we need to remember God's patience for us. We mess up and do things wrong all the time, but God is so loving and so patient with us. The Bible mentions patience many times, and now we're going to hear some verses read to us which talk about patience. Romans 12, 12. 12. 12. Be joyful in hope. Be joyful. Patience. Patience. In affliction. In affliction. Faithful in prayer. Faithful in prayer. Love is patient. Love is kind. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Psalms 40 verse 1 I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. Romans 8 25 Romans 8 25 But if we hope, but, we hope for what we do not yet have, not yet have we wait for it patiently. We wait for it patiently. Thank you to everyone for those brilliant readings. So as we can see, the Bible speaks a lot about patience. So this week, let's really try to remember those and to be as patient as we can be, even when it's really hard. And let's now ask God to help us. Let's pray together. Thank you, God, that no matter what we go through, you are with us and you love us so much. Please help us to be patient as we go through this week. We know we live in a culture that wants everything fast, but help us to replace our impatience with peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Your kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. There's a story of unfailing love that echoes in my heart. There's a promise that you're always here. Your word will light my path. We shall not fear the days to come. You are with us to the end. And everything is possible through God who gives us strength. You may
worship that was. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I can't wait to try out Laura's recipe with strawberries. I've got some exciting news as well. I save the date. Put it in your diary now. On July the 11th at 12.30 we're planning another picnic. Don't know where but that's the date and the time and we'll let you know more details as we know them. And so now I'm just going to say a final blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.
and break every chain, oh God, you have done great. 